In this video, I did an insane amount of revision for my biology exam, continued writing my research paper, and worked out. So if you need some motivation to get productive, then keep watching. Hey guys, so I'm going to quickly plan my revision session in my notebook so that I have some sort of structure. But today I'm basically going to be working on biology. That's my Anki right there. And we're going to be grinding because I actually have a quiz test type of thing on Friday that I have to revise for. So yeah, let's get studying. Okay, so I started off the day with biology and since I use the close feature on Anki, I tend to write down my answers the first few times before just answering it verbally because that way it tends to stick better in my head. Hey guys, so I just got done with four Pomodoros, which is equivalent to two hours of work, but now I'm just going to take a little bit of a longer break. I'm probably going to just walk around the house or do another leg workout, and then I will see you guys when I start studying again. p.m. and I am still working through my biology flashcards but I think I'm just gonna work for another 45 minutes maybe another hour and then I'm going to get ready for bed so after about four hours of revision I was still going through my topic two biology flashcards which for those of you who don't do the IB is molecular biology this unit is definitely the hardest one we've done so far and it also has nine subunits so that's why I'm spending so much time on it After drinking some water I just continued for a little bit longer and then I took my break hey guys so I'm currently feeling really really overwhelmed because every time I try and focus on my biology revision my head keeps drifting over and thinking about my extended essay because our third deadline is actually due on March the 10th so we're supposed to have 2,000 words written by then. Essentially, if you don't do the IB, the EE is a 4,000 word research paper. And don't get me wrong, I absolutely love my topic, but some of the concepts are really difficult and I'm trying to teach them to myself, which is a struggle. But yeah, I also have a history test the week after, the day before the EE deadline. So yeah, it's really not going great, but I think my approach is always to just focus on one task at a time, break it down into smaller chunks so that it's more manageable. So right now the plan is to just finish off these biology flashcards, read for a bit, go to sleep, and then wake up tomorrow morning a little bit before school starts, get another study session in and then go to school. Hey guys, so I just got off a FaceTime call with one of my friends and for the past 10 minutes, I've just been sat here eating some blackberries and planning out my next revision session in my journal here. So yeah, um, today I have a lot of stuff to get done as per usual, but so far I've already done my workout and I've also done my unseen work for English literature. But next I have to do my biology, got to grind again because my test has been moved from Friday to tomorrow. So yeah. That's a big chunk to get done tonight. And then also I have to do a little bit of work on my history and my extended essay, but I'm not gonna spend too much time on that because bio is obviously the priority tonight. So yeah, I'm gonna finish my blackberries and then I'm going to get started with my revision session. Okay, so now that I've had my snack and my stomach is happy, I'm going to start with bio again, yay. So as you can tell from that very over-enthusiastic yay, I was really excited to do even more biology revision. This time around, I answered some of the cards that I knew well verbally, but for the ones I wasn't so sure about, I wrote down in my notebook again. 
When I get the answers wrong, I usually use a red pen to fill in the gap, so that way it stands out to me, so hopefully I won't get it wrong the next time around. Hey guys, so during my break between chemistry and English, I did a quick Pamela Rife ab workout and now my abs are burning, but I'm about to go to English, so yeah. So in English, we were reading the Duchess of Malfi and I was reading Bazola's part, which was quite interesting as he is one of the main antagonists in the play. It's currently 4.19pm and I did some Chinese work after school and then I chilled for a bit and watched some YouTube but now it's time to do my extended essay because this Thursday I have my third EE deadline so we're supposed to have written 2,000 words and right now I'm at 1,800 so I just have to add a little bit more to my EE and then submit that part of it and then the second thing I have to get done tonight is also start studying for my history exam because we have an essay to write on Thursday and this is the first time that we're going to be doing paper two so I'm a little bit nervous but hopefully it shouldn't be too bad because we already did the cold war at GCSE and I think I still remember most of the stuff so yeah. Researching is definitely a really long and arduous process but I genuinely love my topic so that makes getting over the hurdle of starting a lot easier. Okay so it's been about 45 minutes and today I was working on the significance and worthiness of investigation. I've already written up some stuff for it but I was just adding to it because it needs to be a little bit longer and then I also did some work on my methodology but essentially when I do my EE I always have a split screen open so on the left hand side I have my research document as well as any other websites that I'm using to help me write my EE. And then on the right hand side i just have my extended essay and that way it's just so much easier and more efficient rather than having to switch back and forth between tabs but yeah i'm gonna continue working on that and i will see you guys a little bit later personally i think it's really important to break your research paper down into smaller more manageable parts and plan out how you're going to get it done but for me the key thing is that if i'm a little bit behind my schedule i need to not throw my entire plan out the window and not beat myself up about it and just do one task at a time if you enjoyed this video, then you'll really like my video where I woke up at 4am to study. Hopefully I will see you guys there on that video.